Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Face Off Friday with the brand new 2021 Tops Series 1 just coming out this past week. I figured we've got to put that into Face Off Friday and we're going to take Series 1 from the last three years and put them head to head and a little bit different. We've got two rounds for this Face Off Friday. Usually we'll just do the blasters facing off or maybe we'll do some hobby boxes facing off, maybe some higher end stuff facing off, but we've got two different rounds today. We're going to do the last three years of hanger boxes facing off each, against each other. And then we've got the last three years of blaster boxes. So I hope that you'll take a second and hit that thumbs up button for me. And also the subscribe button if you're not uh, subscribed yet. would love to have you along for the ride. We post a video every single day. And also I'll take this opportunity to kind of give you a preview of what's coming up tomorrow. We've got the retail review tomorrow. We've got a fat pack, a single pack from Walmart and a hanger box and a blaster box as well. So let's go ahead and see what we can find in this episode of Face Off Friday. We'll talk also a little bit about production runs and we'll compare some of these numbers on the back of these boxes. We're talking about the odds. So let's start off with the hanger boxes. Uh, we've got 2019 featuring uh, Aaron Judge and Babe Ruth on the back. Let's just take a look at the uh, some of the odds here. So back then it was one in every seven had a gold card in 2020. It was one in every three, um, and in 2021, it's one in every six. So I'm not exactly sure how that works out for this, but I do know that some folks have ran numbers um, on the on all the relics, and it seems like there's a larger production of 2021 tops. I'm not a mathematician, but if you'd like to pause those odds for yourself and try to figure out some stuff, you can. Let's go ahead and rip these open. The way this works is I take the top three cards from, actually, top five, and we put them out on the screen. So let's start off with 2019. Which box do you think is going to be the best one? Personally, I think that, ooh, I do like 2020 Top Series 1 a lot. I think I'm probably, though, going to give it to this one just because it's there's so much hype around this product that the cards, the, the top rookie cards from this product are going for like $7 a piece on eBay, whereas cards from this product, which in the long run, I maybe like two, three, four years from now, this is going to be the better out of these two, possibly. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to call this one now. It could totally change. We pull a nice short print or something like that, and maybe the 2019 box could end up winning. So here we go. Our 2019 box, by the way, featuring, we'll just also see if there's any change in cards here. 67 cards back in 2019. and 2020, you also got 67. And in 2021, 67 across the board. So personally, I think it's a much better deal to get a hanger box if you can find them, um, just because... We get 67 cards for, you know, it used to be 10 bucks. I do believe the price has gone up. We'll talk about the price of 2021 um, products in tomorrow's retail review. We'll break it down, tell you by card what's the best um, option out there. So we're getting some not, not nice rookies, but we're getting some rookies. The best rookie that we could find in 2019 is going to be the Kyle Tucker. Michael Kopech would be... A, a nice secondary one. Uh, Ramon Laureano is in here as well with Jeff McNeil. Those are probably the top four. Here we get to the middle. We've got a um, Greatest Seasons Robin Yount, Todd Frazier foil card. Ronald Acuna Jr., a couple of his cards. I guess, I don't know if that was a Walmart one or not. Uh, it may have been. It's been sitting on my shelf for such a long time. There's a Jose Abreu 84 style design. So this first box is, or this first hanger box pretty weak it's i project 2019 is going to come and last for all three rounds and um i think i'm going to be right probably only a couple dollars worth of cards not even getting our money back as the good stuff would be right in the middle of the box by the way before i forget i got to give matt brown a shout out matt thank you very much for sponsoring this video if you'd like to sponsor a video like this one on patreon uh, join our Patreon page. It's three dollars per month, and it gives you access to all of our breaks. And we'll be continuing to break a bunch of 2021 tops for you guys. Now we move into the um, Series One 2020 box. Uh, by the way, the top cards. I don't even know if you can call them any top cards for the hanger box round. It's going to be the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go with the Acuna's as I'm going to go with the uh, the bat down image number one. The other one, number two, we'll go with Frazier three because it's a parallel. Jose Abreu four, and it's very arbitrary who could be number five. 
I'll go with, I, have, I literally don't care. We'll go with Corbin Burns. Not a very good round there. Here we go with the next one. This is the 2020 Hanger One box, the Series One Hanger box. And then, uh, and one thing that I noticed that uh, is pretty cool, because I've seen this happen before at Walmart where people will go and press in the sides and they will go like that and they will look and they, they can see, it's kind of tough with the shadow in there, but you can see if there's a relic in there. They changed it up this year. Look how they wrapped the 2021. So nice job tops with the security feature there. Kind of cutting down the uh, people that mangle the boxes and peek in to see. That was one of the things that I hated about uh, hanger boxes. And I did see them on the shelves. Not all, not often, but every now and then, you would see the tab pushed on. You're like, well, someone took a peek in there to see if they there was a relic or a hit inside. I never liked that. All right, so 2020, obviously looking for the top rookie cards in here, which are going to be Jordan Alvarez, Gavin Lux, all of those big names from the past. Let's see what we can find. Jesus, Lusardo, Nico, Horner. You guys know the ones that we're after. Let's see what we've got. Bunch of base. There's Marisa Dubon. I have to put them aside since it's a rookie card for right now, just in case we end up without any of the top names. Jordan Yamamoto ended up getting shipped off to New York. Travis Demerick got DFA'd. Now, there's 50 rookies in 2021. A lot of those guys are going to be like, what happened to them? I don't remember them at all five years from now. Luis Garcia, nice silver foil. We've got a gold card. Rogelio Armenteros and Reese Hoskins for Walmart had his own subset there. Um, kind of interesting choice. There's a Zach Gallon. I really like the turkey red insert cards that they put in this. There's four of them. And here's one of the top rookie cards, Jesus Lusardo. That's going to likely be on my list. Tyler Alexander had a nice start to his career. Bobby Bradley. Lots of rookies. There's AJ Puck. Haven't found the Jesus Lusardo yet or the Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette's another huge one in this. Kyle Lewis. How did I miss him? He's going to be the number, likely number one from this. And um, let's see what else. He was the rookie of the year in 2020. All right, so here's my top five from that. Not a bad box at all. I'm going to go with the Lewis one. I like Zach Galnott, so I'm going with him number two. I'm going to go with Jesus Lusardo number three. I do like my rookie cards a lot. I'll go with the Rogelio Armenteros gold card at number four. And um, I don't know. I've got some other rookies to choose from here. I'll go with Tyler Alexander at number five to appease you Tigers fans out there. Series uh, one, just from 2020. I've got to, you know, specify since they're all the same. Series one from 2020 blow has blown away. Series one from 2019. Not even close. This box way better. Now, we've got one more to go. It is the 2021 box. You'll be seeing this box in our retail review tomorrow along with the retail single pack. It's a 16-card pack. The fat pack, the blaster box. We'll kind of break all those down and analyze which ones are the best between those choices. All right, so we've got a side flap this time. I like that a lot. It makes it easier to just slide that out rather than, you know, working with it to break it out of the bottom. The odds, I think I already showed you, but we'll show it one more time. And also the no purchase necessary information is there if you'd like to pause it and uh, send out a postcard to maybe get some free cards. So here we go. We've been opening a lot of 21 tops. I had a live stream of about seven and a half hours and a five hour live stream. So We've opened over 12 hours of Topps cards the last two days on Wednesday and Thursday. So we're pretty familiar with this. Here we go. There's a Davey Garcia rookie card. The top ones that I'm looking for right now is Ryan Mountcastle and Joe Adele. And uh, there's a nice Monte Harrison. Just listen to his interview today. Joey Bard is a great one along with Dylan Carlson. They're always back-to-back -back in this. What if we get all of them? Casey Mize? Wouldn't that be something if we got all the top rookies in just one hanger box? That would be pretty nice. Also looking for Christian Pache in here as well. Alec Bohm. We'll see if we can find them. There's Willie Adames. Kind of, it'll, there's the Tatis, the card number one of the set. It'll be interesting to see what the uh, inserts are in this. You can see the inserts right there. There's Rolos Chapman, Lorenzo Cain. And lo and behold, we've got a gold card. It's going to be a Will Smith. This is not too bad. Home Run Challenge card. Could fill that out for some free cards. Will Smith gold. Frankie Lindor, 1952 tops. These are beautiful. Um, I love the 52 tops set. And 
Uh, you, we didn't see these in any of the, I don't think we saw them in the hobby except for maybe some reprints of like the Willie Mays through the years. And we definitely didn't see any of these in uh, Hobby and Jumbo because um, I've opened this for 12 hours. It's the first time I've ever seen these cards. Frankie Lindor, Evan White, rookie card. We've got a Vladdy Jr. and Alex Bregman. So that's one of the pluses of the retail stuff is this 52 set. Personally, love it 50 times more than Turkey Red. All right, let's see what else we've got. I'm putting that Evan White in my stack. I'll put the Vladdy in the stack as well. There's a Randy Johnson, 86. We've got some exclusive Walmart parallels. They're not numbered. You can only get them in Walmart retail products. Still pretty cool, though. A die-cut Hank Aaron card is a nice one. I'll put that one in my maybe pile. I don't know if it's going to make my list or not, but we shall see. All right, so uh, overall, pretty good um, hanger box here. It'll be interesting to see if it can defeat the series one again you'll have to let me know in the comments which box you ended up thinking one we'll do the hanger and also the blasters all together so here we go this is my, what i've got for the maybe pile right now kyle lewis rookie card i don't know what it sells for a couple bucks on ebay maybe it's nothing like uh what's been going on with um this product right now right now i'm guessing that the dylan carlson's probably the most viable of the cards um, I know that Alec Baum sells for seven bucks. Carlson's probably around the same. I'm gonna go with Joey Bart as number two. Number three. So ooh, where do I go next? Will Smith or Evan White? I'm gonna go with Evan White number three. Will Smith number four because it is a gold card and people put those sets together and buy the singles. And then I'll go with Davy Cruz number five, I think. Apologies to these other cards. They're great cards, but they just did not make it in. So uh, now, personally, here's where we here's where we have an issue. What box was the better value wise right now today, on February twelfth, series one from twenty twenty one is better. If you add up all those cards on eBay, uh, recently sold, this is going to win. But I don't know. A month from now, two months from now, I feel like this is the better one. So. Um, we, I'm going to have to call 2021 Tops the winner today just because it's so hot and everyone's buying it right now. But as more and more people break this open and there's more cards that flood the market out there, um, the, the more the supply goes up, the prices are going to fall. And you're, you're going to be able to pick up the Carlson and Julie Bart for around 99 cents to two bucks, I feel like. Uh, maybe like uh, a month from now. Now, if one of those guys breaks out in 2020 and Carlson's hitting 350 with, uh, with like a 1,000 OPS, then look out. That card's going to go up. We saw the same thing happen with Kyle Lewis last year. He was hitting like 360, 350 after a month of the season. Cooled off, still won the, the rookie of the year, but uh, his cards did take a little bit of a dip at the end there. So, all right, so I've got Series 1 as our winner for 2021. Now we're going to clean everything up and do it all over again, give you guys some extra bonus content. We'll be breaking over the, open the blasters now from the same exact years. Hopefully you guys like this concept of Face Off Friday. And uh, figure, heck, it's, you know, it's a brand new release week. We've got to do as much 2021 tops as we possibly can. So here we go. Let's go ahead and change this camera angle down just a little bit more. So, Matt, let's see if we can find in our, our box of 2019 Series 1 featuring Aaron Judge on the top. I guess we'll show you the odds again. So here are all of the odds in this one the rainbow foil was one in 10 back then the gold was one in 13 in 2019 here the rainbow is one in 10 one in 14 gold that's a good indicator so a little bit tougher to find a gold card but not by much one in 14 and in this box right look at the oh man look at the odds here guys one in 27 so here's your big indicator so in 2020 one in every 14 boxes had a gold card. One in every 27 boxes. So it's roughly doubly as hard to find a gold card in 2021 because the numbers have gone up. Now, one of my buddies sent me some unofficial numbers of the, um, the Blasters. Now, in 2020, they figured out... I don't know how they figured out. These are unofficials and all hearsay. Top doesn't release the actual case amount. But they said that they think that there was 7,000 blaster cases made in 2020 for series one. So there's 40 blasters in a case. Okay. So that's how many blasters were made in 2020. And in 2021, they made almost 12,000 cases, 11,850. So way more blasters. 
You can just look at those Topps Gold numbers and know the blaster is more prevalent. Now, what's that mean for you as a collector? That's good for you as a collector. If you just like collecting cards, that's awesome because there's going to be more cards available for you. If you're an investor, that's bad for you because the cards aren't going to have as much value as their counterparts from last year. Now, the parallels will still hold the same amount of value because those are numbered. There's a limited quantity. There's still only 2020 or 2021 gold cards out there. It's not like they've doubled the output of that, but there's uh, way more base cards. So the base rookie cards in the long run may not hold the same value. That's just my personal opinion, but... Um, a lot of you guys have complained in the past, and rightfully so, about how hard it is to get cards. It kind of really sucks. And um, that's what Tops has done to kind of help you guys find some more cards. They've printed more of them. Now, some of you might point to the 90s and say, they did that in the 90s, and look what happened. They printed way too many, and we had uh, the bubble burst, and all of our collections were worth nothing after that. So, I don't know. It's, it's a really fine line. I don't know what the right answer is. It's a... You know, it's tough. Topps want, definitely wants to make sure that people that want to, you know, be in the hobby can get cards. But, at, you know, what do they do? Do they keep the print run, print run the same and then up the price to 30 a blaster? There's just, I don't know if there's a, a right answer. It's, it's tough. So they've upped the print run this year, especially with the blasters. So hopefully you can start finding them at your Walmart. Kyle Tucker, number one card in the set. That's, I'm going to just go ahead and put that in the number one spot up there for Matt. We'll see if it gets knocked down. Um, might take a nice parallel card to do so. Maybe a foil card of one of the top rookie cards. There's a nice Aaron Judge, Freddie Freeman. 2019 was a rough set. I remember seeing this. This was on the clearance bin and they just couldn't get rid of this. So the repack stuff, they were always featuring 2021 Series 1. Just a uh, pretty weak rookie class. But it's it's rebounded. I remember for Black Friday, they had these boxes, like hobby boxes, for like 20 bucks in November of 2019. Pretty crazy. What? How much did I say? 40 bucks, I think. I think they were 39.95. Jacob Nix. I don't even... I have been having trouble picking out some cards. There's a Carlos... Or Christian Villanueva. He's not even in the big leagues anymore. He signed in... A contract and went over to Japan so not much value to him except for somebody putting together the gold set again I think I'm going to stick to my initial thoughts the 2021 top series one is going to win the day for all three rounds or all two rounds I'm not going to do a third round if we did I'd do fat packs but um, we'll save those for maybe another day do I even have enough cards here? <laughs> There's an Aaron Judge. I guess we'll toss that one in the maybe pile. Man, that was a uh, that's a rough box. At least we got the number one rookie card out of there, Kyle Tucker. Beyond that, um, I don't know. These cards aren't really worth that much at all. We'll go with the Villanueva Gold because it's a gold. We'll go with the Silver Foil Parallel of Luke Weaver. I go with the Toussaint 84 Tops. Pulled his autograph the other night out of 2021. And then the last one. I'm I'm go with the iconic card of Mike Piazza. That might be worth, I don't know, a quarter, maybe, if that. We also have, well, wait a minute. We've got this iconic patch card. So that's actually going to bump the Piazza out. Oh, it's, uh, okay, it's Jose Abreu. That's going to bump Piazza out. This card's probably worth a couple bucks. I'm actually going to put it in at number two. Um, it actually might be worth more than the Kyle Tucker, but I'm going to put it at number two. I would not pay more than more than a dollar for that personally. And uh, I would only do so if I was putting together the entire set. So moving on now to Series 1 of 2020. This was a box that I picked up at Target. And uh, I picked it up for this reason. I, it's literally the last blaster I have of the 2020 Series 1. And I was like, i got to save that for a face-off Friday whenever the new stuff comes out. All right. So the one thing, I mean, I love 2020 tops. Series 1, I feel like, was the best of the three flagship releases of the three series. Series 1, Series 2, and Update, by far, I feel like. I love the the uh, the design, and I absolutely love the medallions. They put these rookie card medallions in here, and here's some coupons as well. Which, by the way, I think these are all expired now. Um, let's see. Ex expired. Um, where's the expiration date? Yeah, they expired in June. 
These are going to be in the 2021 blasters as well. If anybody would like to send these my way, I will put them to good use. At least try to whenever I'm picking up stuff uh, at Walmart for the Walmart $100 videos or for the retail reviews throughout the next six months. So if you don't want your coupons, I would, uh, I would take them off your hands for you if you don't want them. So here we go. Let's check out Matt's Blaster of 2020. Now, if... Um, if you're watching this in the future, so to speak, which is well after February 12th, 2021, I think this box would be the winner. But as of right now, all of the prices are jacked up on 2021, the single rookie cards. So that's just why I think it's going to win. We might find a, a, a really big name autograph or short print or something here that will give this the W. But for right now... I'm projecting a second place finish. Let's see if I'm right or not. All right, so here we go. We'll save that rookie retrospective card, which is super awesome for last. All right, so there's going to be turkey red cards in here. There's a Logan Allen rookie card, Yachty Molina. I guess I'll take out the Allen just so I can start building a um, a good pile just in case. There's Glaber Torres, Ronald Acuna Jr., turkey red. Uh, this is going to be the first blaster of 2021 tops I've ever opened, so I'm hoping those 52 um, tops cards are in there. I think that they should be. Gregory Polanco, no good rookie cards yet. We've got a Trevor Richards gold card. That's a nice one right there. A little bit of a bum corner on that, a little bit of white showing. Sometimes that happens. We've got a Brian Anderson turkey red. Javi Baez is going to be featured on a tin. Kyle Lewis rookie card, very nice. You know that's going to be in the top five. That was the number one card we found in our hanger box. So, Matt, you got a couple Kyle Lewis rookie cards coming your way. That works out. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in there. I believe he was um, an exclusive to the Target release of retail. J.D. Martinez. Jameson Tyone. We've got Taylor Rogers, Bregman, and Jeremy Jeffress. We've got a chrome card, a turkey red chrome of Christian Yelich, Fernando Tatis. Very, very nice. Jose Urquidy rookie card. Probably not going to make my top five now, now that I kind of see what I've got in my good pile. Jordan Alvarez rookie card. That was the big card when this set first came out. He was ranked the number one rookie. And then if he had some injury issues, didn't really play much in 2020. He's still a top three rookie for the set, for sure. I think his, uh, his value will rebound once he gets healthy. There's Jesus Lusardo, who I consider one of the top rookies in here. He's going to my sleeve pile. Let's see what else we've got. Love that picture of Kike Hernandez doing a little karate kick over Victor Robles' head. Isan Diaz. And our last couple cards here, we've got a Clayton Kershaw. And, oh, how about that? A Kyle Lewis rookie card, Turkey Red. Very nice stuff right there. And then we've got our rookie medallion. Let's see who that's going to be. It's going to be Ricky Henderson. Look how cool these are. I love these. All right, so... I love the Ricky Henderson rookie card medallion. I don't know what these go for nowadays. I feel like this might be a $5 card right there, so I'm probably actually going to put that number one in terms of value. The Kyle Lewis cards are going to be likely to be two and three. I feel like I would rather have the base real rookie over the turkey red, so I'm going to go with um, two and three right there. Number four is going to be Jordan Alvarez for me. And number five, Logan Allen, get on out of here, buddy. You're not, you're not in this... I'm going to probably go with Jesus Lusardo. like these cards a lot, but um, I guess I do have a sort of a bias towards rookie cards. So overall right now, Series 1 from 2020 absolutely blowing away 2019 as expected. But we've got one more box to do. And it uh, looks like our manufactured patch is going to be a 70th year commemorative patch card in here. So this is a Walmart release. Let's see what we can find in our final box. Thank you very much again for watching this episode of Face Off Friday. Hope you guys liked watching the last three years of tops being opened up. What's your favorite design, by the way? Personally, I like the 2020 design the best out of the three of them. I, I really didn't like the 2019 design when it first came out. It just felt like a modern ripoff of 1982 tops. There's all the coupons in there, by the way. Nice stuff right there. Um, looks like... The coupons you get, in case you're wondering, and by the way, if anybody doesn't want these, I would love to take them off your hands. You get a dollar off two packs of tops, basically 50 cents off two of the singular packs. 
and they're good for the entire year till December. The best coupon on there is a $2 off a monster box of 2021 Topps Heritage. So those are like $40 for a box for the monster box. Interesting stuff right there. Here's our patch card. Let's see what we can find in our blaster box. And again, tomorrow we'll be ripping a whole bunch of retail products of 2021 Tops and talking all about them and kind of hopefully maybe giving you an idea of what you should pick up, what's the best deal, especially for folks that are just trying to find those base rookies or putting the sets together. There's definitely always a release that's or a packaging option that's better than the other. Typically, I prefer the hanger box. We'll put that up against the fat pack, the blaster, and just a regular pack and kind of compare where you get the most bang for your buck. And hey, maybe we'll find a really big hit, but we will see tomorrow. So make sure you check back for that. All right, so here we go. Best of luck to you, Matt. Here's our big stack of cards. We do have the 52s in here. I see them already. Love those 52 cards. All right, D Strange Gordon. We've got a Kevin Kiermeyer in there. I did put a poll up today, by the way, to rate this design, give it an A, B, C, D, or F. So I'll be, I literally just put the poll up maybe right before I started filming this video. Personally, I would give it a B. Uh, the big gripe that I've had is I can't really read the names that well. There's a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 52, second time we've seen that card. Got one of those from the hanger box as well. There's a Freddie Freeman, Glaber Day, Josh Donaldson. Aviciel Garcia, Mike Kelfranco, no big names yet, no big rookie cards at all. Luis Robert, Gold Cup card. We always used to take this card and top load it up, at least his rookie card. Nowadays, it's you know virtually a common, but um, you know still might be worth maybe ninety nine cents on eBay and selling for that. There's a Christian Yelich Brewers team card, nineteen seventy five Brewers through the years card. Bregman fifty two design. Nothing crazy about that card. It's not going to make my top five. Got a Tony Gonsolin Gold Cup card. Got the Gold Cup for the best starter. Luis Patino, rookie card. Teoscar Hernandez. Looks like we've got a Chrome card coming up of a 52. That's pretty nice. Let's check it out here. And it is going to be a Cody Bellinger. There's the Robbie Ray. It's a Walmart Blue Parallel. A Cody Bellinger 52 Chrome. That's gorgeous right there. Man, I love that card. 52 tops looks so good in Chrome. Watch the next release. Um, someone from Tops might be watching this and just had a bright idea. What about if we did a 52 Tops Chrome Sapphire? Man, that would be an awesome set. Um, Daniel uh, Johnson, there's a Dalton Varsho. Dalton Varsho, nice rookie. We'll put him in there. Lots of good rookies in here. It's, I really have to really sit down and rack my brain to get my rankings for these rookies. There's a Frank Thomas. Who's number one? For you guys in this set, there's, man, there's so many great choices to choose from. We've got a Max Scherzer, Santiago Espinal, Isaac Paredes rookie card. Christian Pache is definitely within my top seven. I've got, I've been taking his cards out and sleeving them up when I'm sleeving up people's breaks for them. Along with Joey Bart and Dylan Carlson and Casey Mize and. Um, all those guys, Ryan Mountcastle, there's Tariq Scooball. That is a good one right there. He's a, a great, nice prospect. It's his silver foil of Bo Bichette. Pretty good box for Matt. Chris Taylor, Motor City card there. Comes a AJ Pollock, Walmart blue border card. Pretty nice one right there. There's Fernando Tatis Jr., 52. Got to put that in my maybe pile because it's Tatis. It might not end up making it, but still a nice one for sure. It's Buster Posey. Nate Pearson is a great rookie card. You guys saw his crazy fastball in the big leagues this year. Or last year, I should say. Christian Yelich back against the Ivy. Josh Reddick, Bruce Star Gratterall, future star. Andres Jimenez, rookie card. He's now over with the Indians in the Frankie Lindor trade. And Nick Madrigal had a nice 2020. Another good rookie card. So I've got a fairly large stack of cards in the maybe pile. I'm going to probably struggle a little bit here to figure out what's the best order to put them in. And inside here we have a 70 years of tops. It's a Tom Seaver patch. Tom Seaver. Nice looking card right there. I'm not a big fan of these. Um, I feel like... This is maybe slightly better than that 150-year plasticky-looking patch. 
But man, th these were just tops. You did a great job with those rookie cards. You should just keep on doing that. Maybe do a different set of rookies instead of like Ricky. Choose a different one. Doesn't have to be like a huge name like Ricky. You could do uh, you could do the, the, like an '83. You got Boggs and Sandberg. I don't think you've done. I think they might have done the Gwyn. All right, so here we go. Our top cards. Tariq Skubal is probably going to be near the top of the, that list. Uh, Pache is going to be on there. The Bellinger is going to go on there. Um, all right, so overall, I'm going to go with the Skubal number one. I'm going to go with Pache number two. I'm going to go with Bellinger number three. Number four, in terms of value right now, uh, on eBay and stuff like that, I'm likely going to go with Nick Madrigal number four. Four, maybe? I don't know. These two are pretty close for me. Madrigal did it in the big leagues last year pretty well, so I'm going to go with him number four and Jimenez number five. And uh, apologies to these other cards. They're, you know, great cards, but just missed out. And uh, Tom Seaver, it's just, it's just because it's a manufactured patch. Not a huge fan of that one. I personally think right now... You know what? That scuba... If, if, if not for that scuba... I would say definitely the 2021 ended up being the best box because the two Lewis rookie cards in there with the Jordan. Um, but that Scooball being a silver foil might be worth like, who knows, might be worth 15 to $20. I don't have eBay. I'm not going to look it up as we go along. But I, I'm going to call 2021 Series 1 the winner again. Uh, who knows, maybe a year from now it would be 2020. I, I feel like long term... Maybe 2020 is the best, but we'll see. You never know who's going to be the next big breakout rookie from 2021. Uh, last year, for example, Randy Rosarena was on nobody's radar. In fact, people would get mad whenever I had a break and the, their autograph would be a Randy Rosarena rookie, rookie card auto, and there was a lot of them. He, he put smiley faces in his autos, and I'd be like, well, at least he drew a smiley face. And uh, it was only worth like a dollar or two. And then, man, he went off and his cards just skyrocketed. So we'll see what happens. The 2021 baseball season, once it starts, and these players' performances on the field are going to completely change the rankings of these rookies and could completely impact the value of a set. Uh, we've seen that happen before with lots of these different sets. Like 2018 Tops Update, a year after it comes out, is like, I don't know, multiplied by like five to ten times in value like for a box of those. So... That'll do it for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. This episode of Face Off Friday. Please hit that thumbs up button and check us out tomorrow for the retail review of 2021 Tops. Have a great rest of your Friday and a great weekend, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.